Hello guys, KP Shamino here, and yeah, I'm laughing a little bit because it was it was really strange. So I had the unique Northern Pike, I, I made the video, and then I started fishing again in the same day, and I had the second one. I made the video again, and I was uploading it, and I was just fishing again, and now I got the third one. So I was thinking, yeah, let's make another video that I can show you guys three uniques in this video. So that's what I'm going to do. And the last one was the biggest one. The first two were 15 kilograms and this one is 20 kilograms. So it's really cool. And I'm going to show you guys in this tutorial how you need to catch the unique Northern Pike. So uh, yeah, that's this tutorial. So first of all, you guys just saw me catching uh, the unique. That's the first one. I'm not using this setup. The only difference that I do is I was fishing with the 0.28 bread. And, uh, but I'm not going to show you guys that in my setup because if you don't know what you are doing and you get spooled or the fish is going away, you are going to break, break your reel. And uh, I don't want to show that stuff, but you can do it. Uh, you guys saw it just on that fish, but I'm not going to show you guys in this tutorial that setup. So let's keep this fellow. It's 20 kilograms and it didn't took me that long. I think one minute maximum. So... That's now three fish. I got one at 27 seconds. I got one on two minutes and I got this one on one to two minutes too. So it seems on three fish that they don't fight that hard compared to the trophy muskie. I can be wrong, but uh, it seems it's a little bit easier to get this fish in. And with easier, I mean that you don't need to waste two to three hours real life time to get the fish in. So... Yeah, it works really well. I'm very happy. I got 100 kilograms of fish and I'm only fishing for three hours in game. And you need to remember, I made two videos too that I didn't fish. So uh, yeah, that's a lot of fish that you can catch in one day. And I think I need to uh, close my shot. Okay, for the position guys. So let's reset this peg. Let's go over here. So you need to go to Woods of the Eastern Bank. Just go over there. And you guys probably know that uh, that spot already. Because I use it always in my Northern Pike videos. I use it now too for my Trophy Muskie. So you just need to go all the way to the right. So let's go to the right. To the bay. And the bay is the, for me the best position to fish for that fish. For the simple reason. It's like heaven for Predator. Uh, you got like a lot of... Uh, yeah, stuff that they can hide, like lilies, uh, like reeds. Uh, it's not that deep. It's shallow water because they are sitting very close to the shore. So that's a perfect habitat for the predator. And northern pike is a predator. If you want to catch the unique northern pike somewhere else, it's all over here. You can get it here. You can get it here. If you're close to lilies or reeds, you can get probably the unique northern pike too. But I don't fish over there. I always fish over the reeds here. So let's try to close this. And I think I got a graphical bug again. With, uh, yeah, with two screens. I hope one day they fix it. Yeah, it's okay. So yeah, that's the main problem sometimes. So with two screens, if I go with my mouse to the left screen, the main problem is that I cannot do anything anymore in the game. So I need to go all the way to the right. So therefore I did a 360. I'm not a Tony Hawk at the moment, but that's what I need to do to get my, uh, my mouse cursor back in the game. So it's a little bit silly, but yeah, it's how it is. I cannot do a lot about it. Okay, so you just come here to the reeds. And if you check here, you see here, it's lilies all the way, and they are going all the way behind here. So what you need to do is you just need to throw against the lilies. So you don't need to make a lot of meters. Just throw out. I'm now throwing a little bit further to prevent the fail cast. You just come a little bit closer. Like this is enough. I'm most of the time fish between 10 meters to 15 meters. The closer you are to the lilies, the better. That's how simple it is, because there is the northern pike. And I'm not sure that I'm going to get a bite because uh, I got already so much fish here on this position. And I'm getting outside the, the best time frame. So we can get it between 5 and 9 a.m. But I always say you got super, super times too in like days 
uh, in times for uniques. So some times are better than other times, unique time frame wise. And I think that eight to nine is not that good. So you see there is not a lot of action, but that's how you need to do it. So just throw out 10 to 15 meters. You're perfectly okay. And you are going to catch a lot of fish, as you guys can see on my net, 100 kilograms of fish. So that was it for the position, how you need to throw. It's very easy. So now it's time uh, for the setup. So my setup is the Brutus 360, Espira double punch 6500, Fluoro 0.45 millimeter, that's 11.3 kilograms. So that's the weakest link, my line, a pearl shaped floater, but of course you can go with the Shubby too. It doesn't matter a lot because you don't need to make the distance. Uh, the hook 70 uh, shiners and I'm fishing on 30 centimeters. You don't need to go that deep. First, it's shallow water. Second, they are just laying under the lilies. So they are not going that deep because it's a sunny day. So 30 centimeters worked for me very good. So that's a setup. Simple, heavy setup for a very heavy fish. Nice to catch a lot of them because they give a lot of currency, a lot of gold if you can get unique. So a very cool fish. So now it's time for the time frames. So on a sunny day, 5 to 9 a.m., on a partly cloudy day, 10 to 1 p.m. I think partly cloudy here is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is it raining? I'm not sure because I didn't fish on that day. But partly cloudy, 10 to 1 p.m. And cloudy from 8 to 10 a.m. That's the time frame. Very big time frame. So you can get a lot of fish. Now it's time for the net. And I got so much currency. You will see 885 currency and 153 gold. So... That's a very good farm what I did today. I think I had a lot of RNG, I'm sure of it. But you guys can see, you can get like, I got 14 fish and my net is totally full. And this is what really is good about the Northern Pike too, that the trophies, they give a very high amount of currency for each kilogram fish. So they are very good. So three unique Northern Pikes, 15 kilograms, 15 kilograms, 20 kilograms. The biggest one gave me 61 gold and almost 1100 experience so that was it for the guide guys and i'm not going to remake it now for the fourth time i i just stopped fishing because there is a chance i'm still in the unique time frame that i get a fourth unique today but i'm not going to do it this is the video thanks for watching guys if you like the video give me a like if you like my channel subscribe please have fun with unique northern pike bye bye